Vice President Mike Pence is in Raleigh tonight. Pence is a keynote speaker at a foreign policy event sponsored by the Jesse Helms Center. He's promoting his new book, but is, is he also preparing to run for the presidency? He was in lockstep with former President Trump and his administration's policies. But regardless of your politics or what you think of him, it's hard to disagree. Mike Pence's behavior and demeanor were the polar opposite. You want a strong and principled leader and uh, measured, and that's, that's the way he's wired. And I, I think, you know, everybody's a little different on how they, uh, they handle uh, certain issues and how they uh, handle leadership. So his leadership style is... I think of really rooted in his faith and humility is a big part of that. Brian Rogers is the president of the Jesse Helms Center, an organization named for the staunchly conservative North Carolinian who served 30 years as a U.S. Senator. Rogers says Mike Pence's approach to foreign policy is very Ronald Reagan and very Jesse Helms. We're not nation builders and Senator Helms never believed that. And Mike Pence doesn't believe that, but we certainly advocate freedom. While Pence is promoting his new book, his focus Tuesday night in Raleigh is foreign policy. He wants to be involved in the uh, debates of this country, whether foreign policy or domestic. And so that's why we're excited to have him talk about foreign policy. He's active uh, within the debate, even though he's no longer vice president. The former vice president has been outspoken and critical of his former boss's handling of January 6. And although he has not announced his candidacy for president, he's ramped up his public appearances, including in North Carolina. He takes his faith very uh, seriously, he takes his duty to the United States when he was vice president and before that governor and congressman very seriously in the Constitution matters. And so I don't think he's got any problem sharing with those that maybe have a different viewpoint, his viewpoint. He does it in a very humble way, in a direct way. And Liz, several hundred people are expected to be there tonight. It is invitation only, but CBS 17 will be there. Mm -hmm. And of course, we'll bring you more on what happens at that event. If he makes any news tonight, of course, we'll have that at 11. Yeah, we'll follow it. All right, yeah. guys, thanks.